Another idea. You pray for situations to change, for people to change, for the circumstances to change, for the country to change. However, God wants you to change. You don't focus on what He is focusing on. God knows what you're praying for. He knows how to change the country and how to change your children and how to change the entire world. But you are the bigger problem. Everything else is so easy. The most important thing is your purity. God lets you pray for everything to change, but He focuses on changing your heart. Maybe He lets you pray for your illness or problem. Your screaming changes you, not the problem. The problem will be solved in its own time, but you are getting cleansed. That's why Jesus said, Foolish ones, did not He who made the outside make the inside also? Ask yourself, how many times do you pray hard to God to clean your heart? And how many times do you pray for your problems in your children? Your problems in your kids account for 90%, but praying for the purity of your heart is more important to God. Why didn't Paul get out of prison quickly? There was none like him in the first century. He was going from city to city and built churches and did miracles, and he was humble and knew his weakness. This is good. So shouldn't God have given him? him an extra 200 years or more of energy to change the world? Actually, God did the exact opposite. He made him go to prison for two years. But Lord, you freed people from prison before. Even Paul got out of prison miraculously. What a waste! But God wanted Paul to change in prison and teach him that he can work with or without him outside the prison. God says, I want you to meet me and enjoy me and love me and me you and spend beautiful time together as for preaching that is my responsibility not yours you want one thing but I want to give you something else me so Paul saw Jesus in prison and wrote letters from prison prison became heaven and he didn't want to get out he didn't care even to die he didn't have desires anymore so what did you say Paul when you prayed I thank him and I love him, and I talked with him. Paul didn't ask for getting out of prison. When he went to see King Agrippa, Agrippa said to Paul, You almost persuade me to become a Christian. And Paul said, I would to God that not only you, but also all who hear me today might become both almost and altogether such as I am. He didn't even think to pray to get out of prison. Is there a prisoner who doesn't pray to get out? It didn't matter. He had Christ with him in prison, so why get out? This is better.